G'day, welcome back. We've got a whole two day bond clean here. It took me forever, but it's only gonna take you seven minutes. So the first thing I do is I always get everything from up high and knock it all down low. Just throw it on the floor and that way I can vacuum it up very shortly. are always covered in dust and cobwebs so I always brush them down with the brush. I also do the skirting boards while I'm at it and sometimes the power points. Then I go over at the vacuum and I vacuum all the floors, get rid of that dust, look at it. Oh, it's no use wetting anything, it's just going to turn it into mud. Also do the blinds and also the window sills, and tracks and cupboard drawers. Now this is the process I take, this is the steps I go through for a move out clean or a bond clean. Now it's always good to have a plan and my bond clean checklist is what I use for that plan. There's a free one for you, you can download it, just the links in the description. It'll save you a whole bunch of frustration and really just keep you on track. Okay, so all the vacuums out of the way, now I can really get down to cleaning. This is kind of my prep, all that first part usually takes me a couple of hours. Now I started with the windows today, but it really doesn't matter where you start. You can go room by room if you like, uh, but I usually do all the windows or all the walls, and then I can kick into doing the bathrooms and kitchen and finish with the floors. But have a good look at it. Sit back, watch. If you have any questions, whack them in the comments. getting a bit tired now starting to feel a bit sore it's getting close to the end of day one and I need a coffee okay back for a second day in this big house so I'll start by cleaning the ensuite Okay, at the end of this video make sure you tap on the face to subscribe that way you can get as much cleaning information as you want there's loads of videos pretty much everything I'm doing on this clean I've created some sort of separate video for to show you how I'd usually pre-spray the oven to sort of get it all ready. It needs usually a good three to five hours soaking time because most ovens are pretty crazy that I come across. This one was all right, but we had to get the pre-spray going before I went and did anything else in the house. If you're still with me after this amount of time, you obviously like it. So Please whack that like button, it certainly helps the channel. And whilst we're plugging away, by all means check out my digital book, it's called The Bond Clean Book. It's a step-by-step -step thing you can have on your phone or your computer, it's up to you, it'll take you through everything here. There's roughly about 30 how to clean guides and every one of those has at least 15 steps. There's a link in the description, check it out. have so much stuff just sitting around everywhere you know, I grab different tools at different times for different things gotta have them easy to grab we'll clear them up at the end though
as we get closer to the end, it's really important that you, you focus on the finishing touches. Got to make sure things are sparkly, get them all looking great. On a big clean like this, when it comes to cleaning the oven, it's usually that one where you go, oh my god, I've got to do the oven, but not me. This is kind of satisfying because it means I'm really, really, really close to finishing. I mean, just watching this again, I'm buggered. Now before I mop the floors, I'll usually go through and double check everything because there's no use going back over these nice clean floors to fix things that I've missed. But I am at the end of a very long two day clean and well, it's hard yakka, but it's nice when you get it all done. It feels good. Don't forget to subscribe. There you have it. If you think this video is good stuff, please tap the like button and share it with your friends. If you have a question or you just want to say hi, whack it in the comments below and I'll get to them ASAP. Of course, I'd love you to join me on this journey. Just tap on that face with the green circle to subscribe. That way, when you need good cleaning advice, it'll be easy to find. Here's a couple more videos to check out. Thank you for watching and good luck with your cleaning.